you've got this. I mean, as in you've got this because it's on your Mac already. Preview is the, uh, it's the app that seems to open up whenever you don't want it to. But this free, and I think little regarded Apple app, it's an image editor. It's a very powerful PDF tool. And it's a way you can read, say, uh, Word documents when you don't have Microsoft Word. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use Macs and iPhones and iPads. Uh, do subscribe because, well, we have so much to talk about. And every time we talk about writing, we want an excuse to put off actually writing for a few minutes. I knew I liked you. There's actually a little more I want to tell you about preview, about these things, about it being an image editor and a word preview and things like that. But let me start by showing you how extensively good, what a tremendous PDF viewer and editor you already have. Take a look at this, please. This is a, it's a long PDF document that was recently released by Apple. I just wanted a, a, something long. As you'd expect, it's very well designed too. Uh, but look particularly at this, uh, at the contents. But actually, uh, if Preview isn't showing you this list of pages down the side, click on this icon, choose thumbnails. Now, click here, we're on the current page. Uh, the contents one of this PDF. I think I'd like that page to go sideways. Press Command L. Nah. That's no good, let's undo that. Command Z. Let's turn it to the right. I said, why not? Command R. Whereas this page here, I think actually, do you know that should really be at the start? Drag to rearrange. Although, hang on, I don't want ordinary people reading this perfectly fine paragraph. I need to redact it. That's true redaction too. The text is truly removed from the PDF. There are PDF redaction apps that just kind of cover up the text with black and actually leave the text underneath it. And this is quite how quite a few state secrets have been revealed, simply because somebody took away the black and could read the text. Uh, let me open the second PDF, by the way, because I've decided I want uh, this page from that PDF to go into this one. Drag from one PDF to the other. I just did it with one page, but you can do it with whole groups of them and you can rotate groups of pages. Uh, something else. Here's a, here's a bit I don't understand. Let me leave a note on it. And there's one more kind of annotation you can do like that. I'm going to pretend this is a contract I need to sign, except I don't want you to ever see how bad my signature is. I hand wrote my signature on paper 20 years ago, scanned it in, have used it on every contract since. You just choose it from the tools menu, select, click, and you can resize it to fit the size of box you've got. No reason for you to see my handwriting. Let's move on. There is actually a little more preview and PDFs, but it starts to get fiddly. Uh, for instance, PDFs can become very big files and preview can actually export them in a, in a slimmed down way. You just need to keep adjusting settings and trying it out to get that right, to get a smaller PDF, but that you can still read. Um, plus you can lock a PDF document so that it cannot be altered. Yeah, except if you ever get a locked PDF document, you can duplicate it and then alter the copy as much as you like. Take a look at this though. This is a video in QuickTime Player, which is another free Apple app. I want to take uh, a frame from it. I want to take a nice shot and use it somewhere else. Uh, so here it is in QuickTime Player, pause it at the point I want, then type Command C to copy it. Go over to Preview, choose File, New from Clipboard, and there's my image. I can now save that single frame as JPEG, PNG, just about anything. Actually, I only found that one really recently when I needed a frame from something that's been immensely useful. Uh, next, go totally the other way. Here's a Word document. Um, I don't have Word on this particular Mac, but I can drag the document onto preview, and there it is. You can't edit it, but you can read it. To be fair, to be fair I should say, I don't normally bother with that, though. 
Normally I will find the Word document, I will click to select it, and then I will tap the space bar. Uh, this is called Quick View, and it will show you any document that a Mac is capable of displaying. Uh, if, I, if I just want to read a document somebody sent me, or more often actually, I just want to check that it's the one I'm looking for, I'll do that. I'll use Quick View instead of Preview. But if I've got a few of them, or maybe I'm comparing a couple, Preview lets me look at the two or the lot. And what I can't do in Quick View is select any text. Uh, if this is the document I want, I found the one I want, in preview I can select it and copy some text out, again, without even having Word. And if the file I want to open is an image, oh, preview can do a lot more than just show it to me. Here's a photo I took to illustrate a feature. In preview I can rotate it, just as you can with the PDF page. I can also crop, drag over an area you want to keep. Choose the Tools menu, select Crop or press Command K. This is actually one thing I use quite a bit, uh, resizing images. Again, it's in the Tool menu. This time you choose Adjust Size. Uh, by default, typing a width will automatically change the height, and that's usually what I want. It scales the two so that you, you are actually resizing the image, not just crushing it vertically or horizontally. Um, if you don't want that though, you can click to turn off this, this link icon, this button that means the height and width are kind of kept in step that they're linked together. Um, next, this is the kind of magic you usually think of as needing Photoshop, not a free Apple app. Drag in a PNG image or a TIFF one, uh, not JPEG, this won't work with JPEGs. Uh, here's one for example with a background that I just want to remove. Click this icon called Markup to get the toolbar. From that toolbar, choose the magic wand icon, then click and drag over the background that you don't want. Now hit the delete key and it's gone. Yeah, all right, except for those bits inside the eight and the U, but let me magic those, drag a little select, delete, done. Now you can save that image under a new name and you can save it in many different formats, all from within preview. Uh, apart from that business of being able to read Word files, Preview is chiefly, I suppose, an image app, and we are right as we work with text, most of all. But you've seen this, you already know now how often this is going to be useful to you. And when you're reading long PDFs, by the way, just reading them, Preview lets you search for text, it lets you copy text out, as you've seen. It is a writer's tool, and it is there on your Mac waiting. That's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself, eh? And I'll see you soon.